Coach, uh, get the final home series of the season already this weekend. Just uh, first of all, your senior group, what, what have these guys meant to this program? Yeah, it's crazy that uh, we're in the down stretch of the season and uh, just three games left at home, nine games total. Uh, it's just been a crazy year and just really, uh, you know, excited for our guys, especially the, the COVID guys that came back um, to get it taken away from them last year and to have that opportunity to be able to finish and finish at home this weekend is going to be going to be fun. It's going to be emotional. Uh, this is my first group that I've you know, pretty much brought in, too. So um, I'm excited for them, and hopefully we can finish um, you know, with, with some wins and um, keep moving up in the conference standings. As you enter this weekend, I mean, you're only two games out of second place in the West, and UTA is still out there leading the thing. But uh, just what's that mean to be able to still have a chance to have six games left in the conference to still kind of hold your fate in your own hands a little bit? I think it's huge. It's important that uh, you know we, we keep moving up and, and, and you know laying down the foundation of the program. I know we're in year four, but it seems like we're really in year three. Um, and to know that we have those opportunities with six games left in league play and uh, three of them being at home, you know that we, we've got to take care of business and our guys got to continue to learn how to win series. That's the most important thing for me is finding a way to do that, and uh, we've got that opportunity this weekend. UTA, of course, uh, last week sweeping Little Rock at home and a huge sweep for them. Uh, combined no-hitter on Friday night. You're going to see a great arm of Carlos Tavera Friday night. What do you expect to see from them? Well, they're going to get after you. There's a lot of – I mean, they've got a, more older guys than we do, and um, I think they've got 14 of their COVID guys back, a uh, team that we're familiar with. We played them here two years ago, uh, three years ago, I guess now, whatever, whatever it is with COVID, and then played them in the conference tournament. So, um, you know, we, we know each other really well. Darren's a great guy, and um, I know they're, they're, they're coached well. And uh, we're going to see an outstanding arm, a guy that's coming off of throwing a no-hitter. I mean, that's, that's remarkable in college baseball.